Way back in the beginning, before you were kids, God supposedly made a woman from a man's ribs and never did it again. Imagine that, people. And then he had the nerve to call all bad things Eve ill. Do you get it? Eve is female, ill is sickness. Eve ill subliminally means female sickness. Yet Eve came first. Christmas Eve comes before Christmas in December. And New Year's Eve comes before New Year's Day, not reversed. If Eve came from Adam, why do we say ladies first? There's Mother Nature, Mother Africa, and Mother Earth. So don't front. Why is a female hero named after a deadly drug? Heroin. Write it out for comparing. We even go and incorporate women's name in our swearing and say mother of her. And it doesn't occur to others that a man wrote a song called 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. And it keeps going far. Bras are really bars. She's a good boat. She's a good car. She's a good plane. She's a fast bike. We call vehicles Betsy and Jane, but not Mike. And we don't see it as rude because we're blind to the truth. We objectize women by calling them food. We call women sweetie, baby cakes, dumpling, peaches, pumpkin, cookies, muffin, sugar, do, 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 my honey, honey, do, 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 do. Sugar, do, 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 my honey, honey, do, 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 do. You are my candy, girl. Isn't it scary? We even go and call it the virgin's cherry. We call women chickens. We call women pigeons. We call women chicks. Those are baby chickens. Everybody knows that if you take a girl's virginity, she'll always let you hit it. But men deny the fact that we become just as much addicted. Because in order to have sex with her, you had to call her up to get it. Let's talk about marriage. The man goes and asks the father, even though the person that carried her for nine months and gave birth to her was the mother. And then the father decides whether or not the two of them can happily be, which is implying that the daughter is the father's property. And if you go through with his plan, the person that marries a man and woman is always another man that says you may kiss your bride like the bride was just a prize. And the man lifts up the veil in front of all the other people, but veil, V-E-I-L, also spells evil. So he lifts up the evil, although there's none to be taken, and kisses her, which is symbolic of man purifying the woman just like in Sleeping Beauty. Then he makes it his duty to control you, because when you took his last name, he thinks that he owns you. No ifs, ands, or maybes. Why was a male doctor usually in charge of delivering a female's baby? That doesn't make sense to me. How come they can reverse a vasectomy but not a hysterectomy? The double standards are funny. Say hysterectomy slow. You get, he's to wreck tummy. He's to wreck tummy. He's to wreck tummy. And baptisms are loads of crap. You were already blessed with the water from a woman's amniotic sac. You don't need water from a man's hands to strengthen you and make you clean. They suppress women by suppressing the number 13. Because the moon circles the earth every 28 days, 13 times a year. Every month has four weeks, every week has seven days, and seven times four comes out to 28. And the only reason why January, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December have more than 28 days is because they took the 13th month and distributed the days amongst the other 12. We should have 13 months, each with 28 days. 364 days a year divided by 13 months is 28, and 28 times 13 is 364. Every 28 days, a woman's blood will start to pour in synchronicity with the moon. 
as her cycle is renewed. It's true, new moon and new egg in the womb. Because a womb man is naturally in tune with the forces of the universe from the energies that make her bleed, receive the seed, and then give birth. But women are reversed, thinking that their blood is a curse. Yet if a man had to bleed for seven days straight, he'd die on the first. Men have always come from women. Listen to the words. Goddess has the word God. Her has the word he. Women has the word men. She has the word he. Lady has the word lad. Princess has the word prince. Heroine has the word hero. Woman has the word man. Tigress has the word tiger. Lioness has the word lion. And after all these facts, you are still denying that women are the first drop of creation. Men are the ripples. All babies start out as girls. That's why men have nipples. Yes, you may giggle. But let me remind you, only a woman can push a 10-pound child out of her vagina. So will the women please amalgamate and make an army? And finally, put an end to patriarchy.